Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is February 15, 2024. And here I am trying to do a random prompt that I haven't done before. So let's YOLO, let's go. Uh, ONG 6 or uh, 769, I can't even read the book. 769 mass chunk, max chunks to make sorted. All right, so given an integer array of length n that represents a permutation of integers in the range 0 and minus 1, we split array into some chunks of chunks, some number of chunks. And individually sort each chunk. After concatenating them, the result should equal to sort of the way. Return the largest chunk and make the sort of way. What does that even mean? We swing chunks and. <laughs> I see. That's kind of awkward. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, so basically, uh, you can think about this as intervals, but I don't know if that's the easiest way. That's why I'm thinking about it first. Um, I feel like I've done something similar recently. Hmm, what, am I, what was I doing? But basically, the idea is that, okay, um, this is a permutation, so every number you know where it's supposed to be. So form in 0 and 4 means that there's a, there's a, you can say there's a 0, you know. Oh, yeah, this was... A, wasn't this one, but a variation of this was in um, was in uh, uh, what you might call it, Josh Chen's contest the other day. Um, I think that was like the Q one. That's why I felt similar. I was like, I think where I remember it from. But uh, but yeah, but basically, this number means that there's a segment from four to zero, right? So that you have to sort them. And yeah, and that's pretty much the idea. Um, yeah, I mean, hmm. Yeah, it's basically exactly the same problem as that problem. I'm trying to think where it is different. But uh, maybe I'll ping Josh <laughs> afterwards and be like, hey. Oh, and also n is equal to 10, which makes this... Well, I mean, this is way easier because n is equal to 10. But it is a little bit awkward. Huh. Unless I'm like really misunderstanding some parts of it. But um, but yeah, but basically the idea is that okay, uh, let's say there's this four here, right? If there's this four here, that means that um, an in index zero, that means that well, this number has to sort with the fourth position no matter what. So then you kind of create a segment, uh, a, a line segment from zero to four, and if you kind of create all these segments, then you can kind of merge them together to um to put them as chunks because if because you have to merge them uh, as one chunk because otherwise there's no way to uh, um, there's no way to uh, what you might call it you can't dip, dip, because if you don't put them in the same chunk like if you have two overlapping segments then um, I, don't even, I can't even English anymore if they're not in the same chunk then it just doesn't get through the boundary right because you can also prove by contradiction I guess um, just because then otherwise you need like an other sorting thing, which for this problem doesn't work. So yeah, so with that said, so we can do something like for index uh, x in enumerate array, right? So maybe we can have something like, uh, and actually Josh taught me this, I mean, he reminded me of this trick, because um, I actually usually, rem you know, this is segment uh, type things, but you can actually re ha uh, have an optimization with, with just counting the ins and outs of the segment. So you have something like a prefix, right? Uh, times n minus plus one, maybe. I think it's n plus one. And then here, that means that if x is not equal to index, just double checking with zero index, because I think on charges it's not. Then now you write, um, you know, so then now this is the start. So we add one and then <clears throat> and then you subtract one. And this is just like uh, writing the segment thing, right? Um, in terms of prefix sum with a difference array. But yeah, and then after that, we can aggregate that all up. So <laughs> let me double check in my head, <laughs> hang on. Yeah, maybe, so maybe chunks is equal to 
I just zero and one. I guess it doesn't matter, right? And then current is equal to zero. And then for x in prefix, right? Um, current to do x. And then if current is equal to zero, then we increment chunks. And then that's pretty much it, I think. I may be off by one, but I think that's the general idea. Um, here, we, we probably benefit from having more test cases. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo, right? So that would be two. And then maybe like if we just do even this, it would be also two. Um, but then if you had something like this, then that would be one again, something like that. Uh, okay, so this is why we test. This expected three. Oh, the two counts as one, I forget. But so I, I thought it would be two, but then I was one. Um and this is is this not one? Oh no no, this is two. Alright, let me double check then. Maybe I have an off by one somewhere. This feels a little bit weird. That should be good. Mm. Okay, so zero and one, right? So then this should be uh, one chunk, right? Um, I'm having an off by one. Yeah, I, I didn't know if I needed the plus one to be to keep it exclusive, so maybe that's why. Uh, but now everything's wrong. Okay, well, hmm. Okay, so. So zero is the beginning of two line segments here. Zero one, so then two it ends, but then it should count twice. Uh, because here now, it means that this segment chunks, but then this one is zero. Right, but I'm not doing that right. Hmm. Maybe this should be this. But but then now, why is this wrong? Four. Oh, because then now I don't need the extra number at the end. Okay, fine. Because now I'm not going plus one. Yeah, all right, all right, all right fine. Uh. Let's give it a spin, and that's pretty much it. I mean, I guess I a little bit. It's always tough for me to know whether I need inclusive or exclusion. Hmm. Still a little bit lazy about this one, but yeah. Uh, th but the funny thing is that I literally did do just this contest, or this problem with in Josh's contest. Though his end is like ten to the fifteen or something. Oh, not fifteen. Ten to the five or ten to the six. Um, because as you see from this algorithm, it is just linear, right? So it's pretty straightforward. Um, I do wonder what people write. Yeah, okay. So other people did use the O of N type thing. So I don't know why this is... Um... Yeah, I don't know why this is... I don't know why N is 10 here, to be honest. I... That's why I was like curious if anyone did it some weird sloppy way. I guess you can also do it with N square. Um, like N square is a little bit... I mean, I don't know, even N cube really. Like n square sub array, and then n cube uh, or, or n check. So then I guess it's n cube that way. I don't know. It's a really weird problem for that reason. But uh, but yeah, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Stay good. Stay healthy. To good mental health. I'll see y'all later. Take care. Bye bye.